Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create Christmas reanimation with using Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create new solid layer. Add the name Element 3D, click OK and go to Effects, Video Copilot, Element and go to Scene Setup import we have two 3d models first main christmas tree and studio background first select this model tree and click open click ok and normalize size let's see okay and go to import select studio click open and ok click normalize and scale button change scale like this OK, and select this Move Tool and Move Tab. OK, and in this time, let's select this model Christmas tree. Let's open inside. So let's go to Presets and open Folder Physicals. As you can see here, we have more materials, but today I will use flat color. Let's use for this part. Okay, and let's select this material. Let's see. And first change diffuse color, change to green. Click OK. And diffuse change 4.5. And ambient 0.05. And glossiness change 50 and environment color change 325 okay we can see the color stylish here with white color and change light 100 ambient very nice and back to see materials let's use flat color for this part and for this part okay very nice and select this flat color, let's right mouse and duplicate. Select flat color copy, use for color brown. And select copy, change color like this. Click OK, let's see. OK, that's good. And select this flat color, right mouse again duplicate and use for toys. Select copy and change toys to yellow. Click OK. And use this color for these toys. Again, let's duplicate this material. Use for these toys. And select, let's see. And open color. Select here purple. Click OK. Nice. And finally, let's again duplicate material and use for this toy and select here, change color, for example, pink. Click OK. OK, so right now I want to again new material for background color. Select flat color, right mouse and duplicate. And let's open studio, select material and use flat pink color copy. And let's open color inside, change to blue, click OK, let's see, and let's change glossiness like this, let's see, OK, very good. So in this time, let's go to presets, environment and backlight, and let's use environment, for example, this environment for more light, or this, or let's try this. Okay, very nice. Let's try this environment. Okay, I like it. So, let's select again copy and change blurness and environment. Okay, that's good. Click OK and let's create new camera. Don't change any settings, click OK. And we can control camera movements here or press C in keyboard. Let's press C and change view. 
zoom to model. So, in this time, um, let's select element 3D, open render settings, physical environment, and we can play environment colors here, like this. And let's open lighting, select choose here light 100 ambient. Nice, and for realistic shadows, open ambient occlusion, enable ambient occlusion and change intensity pen and for smooth shadow change gamma for smooth shadow change contrast here like this okay not bad let's play some settings here okay that's good and select element 3d let's back to again scene setup select studio model let's drag and drop here for create new folder and let's change group here too so right now we have two group first this christmas tree and second group studio background click ok and let's open first group and particle look and deform we have five deforms here let's open taper enable let's see we can create like these deforms for this tree or let's open twist enable let's see okay funny and we can create very creative and funny animations like this and fizz we can create rotate animation let's create fizz y keyframe press u for c active keyframes and go to seven seconds press n for select work area and change this one rotation let's see let's change quality quarter for fast work okay not bad and go to first second and let's open taper again enable and let's click symmetrical open original and let's change curve 0.1 and create offset keyframe and press u for c active keyframes go to one second and change this to go to two second change zero and select two frames make it easy or click f9 and select two frames hold alt click time icon for add expression for loop endless animation go to play button property and let's use loop out duration presets for down expression click this empty area let's see okay funny i like it for create more creative animations, we can use these deforms. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments. Have a good day.